What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. Where we're making today is gonna be some potato pancakes or commonly referred to as potato laka. Anyway, this recipe was requested by another YouTube channel by the name of Over 50 and Fantabulous. Listen, if you're into vlogging YouTube channels, that's your girl right there. I'm gonna leave a link to her channel in the iCard above and description below. Run by there, check her out, and tell her No Hippie Barbecue said what's up. Anyway, this is a little bit outside of my wheelhouse right here, so I did pull inspiration from a bunch of different recipes to come up with what we are making today. All these recipes seem pretty similar, so I'm not gonna necessarily talk about one source that I got this recipe from. Anyway, one spin I am doing on this that I haven't seen with a lot of uh, recipes is we are going to make a little bit of a sauce to go along with it as well. Anyway, instead of talking, let's take a look at these ingredients and get cooking. The exact ingredients will be in the description below, so if you plan on making this, just run down to the description and everything will be laid out there. Anyway, the ingredients we're using, I got some potatoes, a white onion, flour, salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic, that is pretty much going to be it for our potato cakes. Now for our sauce, I have some uh, Greek yogurt, non-flavor, just plain Greek yogurt, some horseradish prepared, some salt, sugar, and you know what, I'm probably going to hit that with some pepper too. Now that I'm looking at it, it does look a little kind of plain out there, so I'm going to hit it with some pepper as well and some lemon juice. Anyway, first thing I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and peel this onion and skin these potatoes and when I'm done with that I'll meet you at the food processor. One ingredient that I did forget to mention when I was mentioning those ingredients was there is one egg that we're going to be adding as well. Anyway, I have my potatoes peeled, my onions peeled and good to go. We're going to just go ahead and throw it in our food processor. All right, now that that's gone through the food processor, now I did have my grating attachment in there, or you could go ahead and grate it by hand. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to take our mixture that's in this food processor, and we're gonna throw it into a strainer, a colander or something like that would work just as well. And we're gonna get all this moisture out. And this is going to take a while for it to drain out, so what I'm going to do in the meantime is we're going to go ahead and get started on this sauce. The sauce for these potato pancakes are going to be pretty simple. The recipe is going to be in the description. We're going to go ahead and throw in our Greek yogurt, salt, sugar, our horseradish. I am using a little more horseradish than what's going to be in the description below, some lemon juice, and we have our pepper. And I like to get a little heavy handed with the pepper. All right, really that's it. I'm gonna mix this up, get it in the refrigerator, and this is gonna have a chance to sit for about 35 minutes while we're finishing up these potatoes. Right now the potatoes are draining. I am gonna be pushing down on those potatoes so some of that liquid uh, does come out so it's not just going to be sitting back there draining. So this is the liquid that we got out of those potatoes and onions. I'm going to go ahead and drain this off and we'll start mixing in the rest of the ingredients. So we've drained that liquid off. There is a little bit of that white potato starch at the bottom of this and from what I've been reading you do want to keep that so I'm just going to go ahead and dump our potatoes into this bowl. We're just going to add the rest of our ingredients. We're going to go ahead and add our one egg our salt, our pepper, our garlic powder, and our flour. Now we're just going to mix it up good. Now that we have this mixed up and combined well, I'm going to go ahead and get my oil heated up and we're just going to go ahead and spoon some of this out into our skillet and make these potato cakes. 
start cooking up these potato pancakes. I have our oil, a thin layer in there, about enough to cover up about half of these potato pancakes. And the oil temperature is a little bit lower than what you would normally fry it. Remember that these potatoes have not been cooked yet, so we're not gonna be cooking at a high temperature. Anyway, I'm just gonna take a spoonful, as big or as small as you'd want. I'm gonna kinda pack it down a little bit. And we're just gonna go ahead and add it to our oil and then kind of spread it out. This is about the size that we're going with right here. So I'm gonna be able to do about four in each batch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for these bottoms to brown up a little bit, and then we're gonna go ahead and flip them and finish them off. And once you start seeing a little browning on the edges, we're gonna go ahead and flip them. Be careful with that oil. This is my second batch here. Looks like I did a better job of forming these. They are a little bit more round. Let's go ahead and flip these. Yeah. Those look delicious. So this is my last batch. I'm gonna go ahead and set this on my rack, let that drain off. Then we're gonna plate up, taste them, see what we think. So this is a wrap, look good to me. Let's just get on into it and see what it tastes like. Cause I made potato cakes, but I haven't made these kind of potato cakes or latke or whatever they call them. So let's get in. Got a little bit of that sauce that you saw in that uh, the picture we shot. Gonna add a little of that to it. Mmm. Great outside crisp. Inside's nice and tender, and that sauce makes it all better. Yeah, this is the winner right here. I can almost see knocking out a little breakfast version. Throw a little bit of bacon or something up in there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let me chew the rest of my food. Thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Hey, over 50 and fantabulous. Thanks for the idea. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.